What is the lymphatic system? And what does it have to do with detox? Hi, I'm Dr. Josh. Hi, I'm Dr. Christina. And we are chiropractors in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to our channel. So today in our video, we're going to go through how to do a lymphatic drainage massage on yourself at home. And we're going to talk about the lymph system and how it works and give you some information so that you understand what detoxification is really happening in your body. So be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified for any future videos that we put up. So let's get on with the show. Now be sure to stick with us to the end of this video because at the end we're going to give you a very specific tutorial that you can do right now to be able to help your lymphatics drain and to actually get healthier. So what is the lymphatic system? The lymphatic system is actually part of your circulatory system. It helps direct lymph back into the circulatory system that has actually gotten out of the system into the surrounding tissues. That's it. So the liquid, there's a bunch of liquid that surrounds all your cells, right? And this is constantly taking toxins out of the cells. And this fluid brings the, the toxins from your tissues into the blood so it can be circulated through the, uh, the liver and then excreted from your body. The lymphatic system actually is not a pressure system too. So it doesn't have pressure like your arteries and your veins. Mm -hmm. So what's in lymph? Well, lymph basically can be include red blood cells, white blood cells, inflammatory fl fluids, inflammatory cells, mm -hmm. immunological cells, uh, chemicals, mm -hmm. and even some hormones too as well. well. So the lymph system is essential for detoxification of the body, like we mentioned previously. And when people do detoxes, especially, you know, around the springtime, uh, people want or are focusing on detoxing the mm -hmm. body, they think more of the liver, right? Because the liver circulates the blood, it eliminates toxins from the body, but they forget about the lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. And it's essential because it's really the drainage. So we really have to make sure that our drainage is working properly so the toxins can be eliminated through the liver so that they just don't get reabsorbed again into the tissues. Because if your lymph is stagnant and sitting around, that's what's going to happen. The toxins will just be reabsorbed by the tissues of the body. So one simple way to think about it is your lymphatic system is almost like the sewer system that we have in a city. And if you could imagine your sewer system in your town would be backed up or wouldn't be working, then you would have stuff pooling up in areas where it shouldn't be, mm -hmm. make pool up and back up into your house. Mm -hmm. It would not be a good thing. And not only does that, it brings, you know, bacterial infections, it brings animals, it brings a lot of, you know, a lot of sickness will come along with it or you won't be healthy in your city if you have that. So same thing with us. We need you that lymph to continually be flowing through and out of us mm -hmm. um, so that your body can be at its most optimal healthy place. So what are ways that you can help the lymphatic system? So we have three of our top uh, tips on how to help with the lymphatic system with your drainage system. Now the first one is exercise. Mm -hmm. Because the lymphatic system doesn't have its own pumping mechanism, like Dr. Josh men yep. mentioned, um, exercise really helps with that because you're contracting your muscles, right? And when you contract your muscles, this is going to help the lymph flow properly. Um, and so to get a really healthy lymphatic system, exercise is definitely a key component of that. So you may remember when you were a kid, and we all did this when we were trying to get that last little bit of stuff out of our freezies. Oh. We'd always put our fingers <laughs> and we'd squish the juice all the way to the top to get it out. That's what the muscles do. It <clears throat> squishes and squeezes it to get the last little bit of lymph to move it upwards towards the direction it needs to go. The second thing that you could do is actually get checked by a chiropractor and get adjusted. And the reason why we would recommend chiropractic for a lymphatic treat, for a lymphatic issue is if your joints aren't moving properly, then guess what? Nothing else is moving no. properly. So we <laughs> want to make sure that every part of you, every joint, every ligament, every vertebrae is moving the way it's supposed to mm -hmm. so that every muscle can work optimally. And so muscles and joints work very tightly together. And unfortunately, the muscles are controlled by the nervous system and that's what we focus on as chiropractors. So we want to make sure your nervous system and your, fun and your body is working at its optimum and then that way you will actually have more benefit from doing any lymphatic treatment. That's it. And also because um, 
Chiropractic really helps with the overall nervous system. It helps with the stimulation of all your organ systems, right? And so which, you know, will aid the lymphatic system as well because everything is moving and working properly. So getting some chiropractic treatment is definitely going to be really helpful with a, you know, healthy lymphatics. Now, the third thing that you can do is actually something we do often. We actually refer out and have mm -hmm. patients go see a specialist who works on lymphatic massage, so a massage therapist. And basically what they do is they work on physically moving the tissue and squishing the, the, the lymphatics <laughs> back to where it should be, mm -hmm. if, if I can use a, that, that terminology. Yeah. So they, they help physically move the liquid uh, to where it needs to go. So um, seeing a massage therapist, seeing someone who is a lymphatic specialist mm -hmm. uh, would be fantastic. So that would be the last tip. Um, and also that leads to our tip. Yeah, and that our is tutorial. Our tutorial, <laughs> which is doing self-massage. And you can actually do yeah. some of this yourself um, and you can do it in certain quadrants in your body mm -hmm. uh, to help get the lymphatics back into the circulation. Exactly. Yeah, you can actually do it all over the body, right? And um, today we're just going to talk about the head and the neck. Those are kind of big ones because, you know, we gain and have a lot of puffiness or can have a lot of puffiness around our face if we have sinus issues, etc. And so, you know, draining the head and neck is going to be just really helpful for you overall mm -hmm. just to make you feel make you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, what we do is two of the major areas in the head and neck for the lymph uh, nodes especially number one is right here okay so in this little triangle here kind of at your neck just right above your collarbone so that is actually where the main ducts are and every area of lymphatics will eventually drain into these ducts so you want to actually make sure they're clear so first of all we're going to start just by gently stretching the skin in this area and that actually really helps to stimulate the the circulation in the lymphatic system and uh, it'll just it's very gentle okay so you don't want to be pushing very hard you actually just want to be pulling the skin mm -hmm. because the lymphs are very much superficial they're in the skin so you just want to do that now now dr well, is using yeah. her fingers yeah my fingertips I like using my thumbs. Okay. Just because yeah. I get a little bit broader, I can be more gentle with my thumbs. So whatever yeah. works better for you. Well, that's it. Yeah, you can use your thumbs as well. Just kind of you're getting in that area. Now, the next most important area is actually around your ear. So mm -hmm. in front and in back of your ear. <clears throat> so in order to stimulate that, you're actually going to take like a Spock. Spock. <laughs> a Spock hands. Live long and prosper. <laughs> and you're going to put, you know, your first fingers in the back and the last two fingers in the front. And you're actually going to start massaging again. So you're massaging down small strokes. You're not doing any circular movements. You actually want to bring it down because you want things to drain down into the duct. Mm -hmm. If you circle, you know, do circular motions, it's actually just going to move things around. It's not going to actually move it in the direction you want. So you're going to do there and you'll do that for, you know, you can do five to 10 strokes. Doesn't have to be a lot. And then we're going to move into the face. Mm. So you actually start with small strokes along the chin, right to the ear. And then you're going to move from above your lip across. And then my glasses are in the way, but <laughs> you'll move across the cheek. Okay. To the ear as well. And then you're going to start in the forehead right above you know, your eyebrow and then up at the top right here. So you're moving out, okay, and down. So you're always going to be in this motion and then down and then down and then re-stimulate here, okay? So we're just gently coaxing the lymph to drain. So you're just going to do small strokes and then down small strokes, okay? So that will really help to start clearing out that puffiness. Mm -hmm. I've actually been doing this almost every day. Wow. And it really has helped <laughs> a That's lot. Amazing. Yeah, in because I get a lot of puffiness around my eyes, especially in the mornings. And now that I've been doing this regularly, it's actually helping a lot. That's amazing. Yeah, so it's awesome. <clears throat> now the next, uh, or and the final section that's really great is to get <coughs> the back of the neck and the trapezius area. So there, you're going to bring your hands to the back, kind of at your spine, and then you're gonna just gently bring forward, okay? And you're gonna do that, 
you know, five or ten times. And then at the end, you can re-stimulate the area. And so, yeah, that's just a very, very gentle massage. Very simple. For the head and neck, very yep. simple. And it really helps to decongest yep. the lymphatic system. And making sure the drainage, the main drainage ducts, are working properly mm -hmm. so that it can drain, you know, well. Awesome. Great. That's fantastic. There you go. Those are great tips. So thanks for watching. Um, be sure to share this video with anyone that you know who may benefit from this. Um, yeah. Also, like and subscribe to our channel. That would help us out tons. And leave a comment if you have any more questions or any comments concerning uh, what you learned today or other things that you would like to learn. Excellent. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next video. Awesome. Bye. Bye.